that I have three, four properties All right. that I bought and I'm uh, making them over yeah. and I'm going to sell them. Mm. You know, where you, we're talking about if you can have three, four properties worth about a million pounds hmm. or more than that. You're right. You know, and then <laughs> sell them and think if you can, re if you can make it half a million profit hmm. in six months from those properties. That's I think really that's good. where I want Hello, to everyone. I'm Larry Ayala of the Art and Proud African LGBTI YouTube channel. Today we are at North London right behind um, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. We're here to meet one of our out and proud African LGBT member, Julius Akaire. He's um, to tell us his journey from being a refugee to making tons of money in pounds. And his story is to inspire other um, asylum seekers and refugees. Hello, Hello. Julius. It's good to see you after good a long to see time. You, I know. Nice to see you. A long time. So, yeah. how are you? Uh, we're here busy, you can see. I can see. Uh, doing construction work. Wow. That's what I do. Wow. We're going to extend it all the way. Okay. To the end. Julius, yep. it is a pleasure having you this evening. Nice one. Our viewers on this platform are interested in hearing your stories. Yep. When you were penniless, yep. almost homeless, yep. to now swimming in tons, tons of pound sterling, being an aspiring <laughs> I wouldn't say pound sterling, <laughs> swimming in it is a different word. We want you to share your experience with our viewers. Uh, Please start by introducing yourself. My name is Julius Kakaire, and I'm a proud member of OPAL. And uh, I've been from the beginning, uh, some of you will know me. It start, when we started actually, talking about being a member of OPAL, All right. I used to be the one, I used to be a photographer for all OPAL. Right. I used to take all the pictures that you used to see on our websites. And then after that, uh, I used to be the transporter for OPAL. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I was I would drive when we had okay when we we're going to the beach when we have occasions. Okay, I'd shuffle the food, take everything basically. Mm. But in between, I was also doing what, my job. Great. Now talking about my job, you know when you don't have your paperwork sorted and everything, something we go through, thanks to Opal, is helping some of us because of our, you know, sexuality, and everything. So you cannot get a proper job we have skills like mine yeah. but those skills were never put to use because I couldn't get anything it's only until uh, I was sorted because I used to do laboring we, when we uh, started Opal our aim was to live a normal life You're right. we need to be able for to go people to go to uni people to have decent jobs people to be uh, to, to, to be able to rent their own homes, buy their own homes, have proper jobs. Because just leaving us in the background where we, we're becoming a burden for the government or other people. But now, just like me, ever since I was sorted, like my life started awakening after all those years. I started living a normal life. Uh, I wanted to use what I'd learned in construction. Bear in mind, when I came to the UK, I'd never worked in construction before. But he, having done odd jobs, you know, just to survive, yeah. I decided that's going to be my career way forward. So I had an idea of what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a plumber. I wanted to be a carpenter. Uh, obviously, I'd done painting. So I started out as a painter. Mm. And uh, I did a diploma, which I have now, uh, NVQ level two. Okay in the painting and decorating and uh, I was working f I still wear their t-shirt even though I'm not wear, uh, working for them for the, uh, a year now okay yeah CSF uh, building construction services back when I started you didn't have to have something that uh, qualified you of your own trade for example you could turn up and say you're a plumber as long as you had the skill and mm. the CSS card you could do the job all right things changed pretty much about four years ago where 
you are required to have a card that a qualification for if you say you're a plumber you need to show them your qualifications so i had to do more okay yeah so i had to do a plumbing uh course all right i had the skills so i didn't have to do a full course i okay. did a course for a year as i was working as a painter and other things yeah you know i left my company 2019. the reason i left them because i was i, th I thought they were holding me behind mm. because they took me on a long time ago when i started as a laborer then as a painter even though i can do work as a, a, a carpenter they don't give me the same money as other Carpenters. People who came as carpenters because they, they think um, they are the one who've taught me everything I know, mm. even though I've done the courses and everything. And plus, I had to venture out and know how to do my own job without any. So I started getting my own jobs. Um, I've worked in most of these houses, you see. Yeah. Uh, some of them I've done paint, changed their windows, uh, changed their doors. Um, I've done their pavings, like this one here, mm. which we done recently. Mm. Uh, put in a, a new sort of fence because there's a, alongside there's a passage that right. goes to the school behind this building. Okay. So when the kids are coming from school, there was a bit of noise, right. and uh, we're still having uh, ongoing work because near around 20 properties here, mm. people want me to do something for them because they see the quality of work that I do. All right. You know, because I'm an all-rounder, mm. multi-skilled. Carpentry, I take it on. Plumbing, I take it on. Uh, I can come and uh, basically put, put a new kitchen in. Yeah. A new bathroom, uh, new flooring, change the walls, make extensions. You, if anyone is interested, basically that's what I do. Mm. And uh, that's something I would not be able to do had I stayed with this company. Yeah. CSF. Within the last seven years, you've been able to sharpen your teeth, uh, learn the ropes, uh, to be able to stand on your own with respect to managing these uh, uh, jobs. That, um, if I may ask, you don't do all these jobs on your own, do you? We Africans, uh, mostly we undermine building, but there is a lot of money in building. So the challenge I have, I would have grown my company bigger. Mm. But uh, when I put out advert there that I need painters, I need even just uh, laborers. Okay. I, no one responds. You don't get. I don't get. Even the people who would come, they are not interested in the job. They're interested in the money. Mm. They will come, but they will spend the whole day on their phones or anything. And then, you know, <laughs> even here I'm doing number 24 uh, there. All right. Yesterday I had... Uh, someone from a Polish guy to come and give me a quote for tiling, tiling. and it's starting Monday. He's going to spend three days tiling walls which are a total of 28 square meters okay. and the floor a total of five square meters and he's charging me 1,400 pounds for three, three days. days and I'm getting the materials. It's just labor. <laughs> Think about that. So Julius, mm. it, it is really interesting to hear from your humble background mm. and to really learn from you how far you've gone. Where do you see yourself in another five years? As I told you, I was working for a company for a very long time. Okay. But then I decided to go on my own and get advertise myself, get the jobs. There are so many jobs out there. Mm. And the other thing that I had to decide recently I started off where I would run a, a job by myself, maybe have uh, someone or two to help me. But then the job started coming. That's what tells you that there's so many jobs in construction. Mm. Then I said, you know what? I could run multiple jobs at the same time and just manage them. I can run multiple jobs and employ lots of people. First of all, I, I try to give opportunity to my own people because I know the struggle. So very often you will see that I'll put on our website, I'll put on our Facebook, that I need builders. Okay. Right now I need about 10 painters. Wow. I need about three tailors. Great. Obviously I've got the polish who's going to do here, but I still have other properties that I need tiling. I need two more laborers. 
right now I think I have uh, about six people working for me and the, by the next week I'll have a total of 20 people. Mm. Now going forward where do I see myself? Because I've realized that people that make money in the construction industry is people who buy uh, properties at a very cheap price that mm -hmm. are run down yeah. either from the council <coughs> or sometimes from bidding. Yeah. And then you make, a, you make them over and you increase the value yeah. and sell them and make a profit. So that's where I see myself in the future, like where I can have, I can say, three, four properties All right. that I bought and I'm uh, making them over yeah. and I'm going to sell them. Mm. You know, where you, we're talking about if you can have three, four properties worth about a million pounds. Mm. Or more than that, you're right. You know, and then we sell <laughs> them and think if you can re if you can make a half a million profit mm. in six months from those properties. That's I really think that's good. where I want to go. From that's the, where I want to be. From the humble beginning to having several property portfolios. Yeah, that is inspiring. That yeah. is really inspiring. Thank mm. you very much, Julius, for um, giving us insight into your journey yeah. and I'm sure our viewers back home they must have catch some they must have soak up some information if you want to make millions like Julius you have to uh, cut your I mean sharpen your teeth the way he has done and uh, put your head down learn the practical aspect the academic aspect as well in five years time we'll come back for another interview yep. with a follow-up to this very particular interview and yep. uh, we'll see how far you've grown your the portfolio of the properties yeah we wish you the very best thanks very much and thank you for giving us an insight into uh your journey yep. from your humble beginning till this present day you are now an employer of uh, labor we are proud of you thank out you and much. proud african lgbt i are really really proud of what you are doing keep up the good work and yep. uh, in five years time we wish you the very best please don't touch the dial comment share this video subscribe and turn on the notification button so that whenever a video is uploaded you are notified thank you very much i'm yours sincerely Lanry Aila. see you next time cheers <laughs>